and I'm here to do a requested video I have been showing you how to square up blocks in various videos but I have never done a video that is just about squaring up so I am going to do that and I'm only going to talk about a regular square up ruler I'm not going to do any specialty rulers if I do that they'll be in separate videos but I just wanted to do a base video where all you need is a basic square up ruler and not any of the specialty tools that are available so that way if you are on a limited quilt budget and you only have a scrub ruler then you will know how to do this technique so let me go ahead and get the camera set up and we'll get started so here i have a rotating mat and because my rotating mat is sitting on top of a regular rotary cutter mat it doesn't spin like it should so you will see me actually turning it instead of it spinning on its own and then I have various square up rulers now I do like Bateza's square up rulers I like them because they have the little green line and when I'm cutting squaring up to a particular size then I can see where my quarter inch is on the outside but one thing that was difficult probably in the last video that I uploaded was that it doesn't have a diagonal line down through the middle so when you go to other brands you may see where they have the actual square up line going diagonally through the center of the ruler and just for video purposes today I am actually just going to use this ruler here it is the Optima ruler you can actually use it on either side. It has yellow lines on one side, black on the other. But the reason why I'm using it is because I'm hoping that you can see better. So I'm going to zoom in. And we are now going to go ahead and start squaring up our blocks. Now, I'm going to do also square up some string blocks because I had a question about why was I doubling them up. So on a string block, normally... I'm squaring these up to six and a half inches and I have a six and a half inch square up ruler. So basically I'm just putting my ruler onto the piece and I'm just going to trim around the outside is what I would normally do. When I did the video, I sometimes like to use a larger ruler so that I can actually have my true edges so I can actually measure those out on my own. And so I think people got confused as to what I was squaring up with. So for this first one, I'm going to use the Orteza ruler and square up. So I'm going to place my ruler and just cut two sides. And then after that, I'm going to rotate my mat 180 degrees. And now I've got a straight edge here and a straight edge here. What I want to do is put my six and a half lines right along the edge of the ruler. So I'm hoping since I'm zoomed in, you can see where I have six and a half over here and six and a half coming through this way. And so that is how you would square up your string blocks. Now what I showed in a video was that I had doubled up. And so people were like, why did you double up? I doubled up because it will save me some time in cutting. So if I double up, what I tend to do is I'll line up two edges that are pretty close. Because these are strings, no edges are actually straight or close to each other. Okay, so now I'm going to go back again. And make sure that I have six and a half on the bottom as well as six and a half under the ruler. I want to make sure I have more than six and a half in both directions. And then I go ahead and squ square that up. Rotate my mat. And then I'm going to go ahead and square this up again making sure that I have six and a half under my ruler and 
and there are my six and a half and that time I did two blocks at a time and you could do as many blocks as you want with this type of a technique where you're not concerned about where things are actually lining up most of the time when we're squaring up blocks we're actually probably are squaring up either half square triangles or we are squaring up quarter square triangles or hourglass blocks so what I like to do is show you how to do that and I am actually going to use the smaller ruler for this I've already pressed my seams open I just like pressing my seams on half square triangles open that way I don't have to worry about what direction they're going to be in when I go to the quilt top so this first one we're going to square up to two and a half inches So what I want is I have this diagonal line and I'm hoping that you can see that but this diagonal line I want to place it on the diagonal line of my seam. Now for my first two cuts I want to make sure that I've got more than two and a half but also have this diagonal line going through the middle. So once I do that I can go ahead and square this up. Now I can rotate my board and now this time I want to put this two and a half line so this two and a half inch line here I now want to put that along the edge of my block in addition to that I want to make sure that this signal the center diagonal is also going through the block. And that is how you square up a half square triangle. If you need to watch this video again to see how I did that, please rewind the video and watch it again. Now it gets a little tricky when you start to have double seams going through on an hourglass block as to how you're going to square that up. We're still going to be working with two edges. And so we also got to take into account this edge so what I like to do is know what my center measurement is so if I'm scoring something up to two inches my center measurement going up and down as well as left and right would be one inch so let's square this up to one inch what I want to do is take my one inch mark so this is my one inch square mark this is the center where it intersects I want to put that right in the middle of my block and I want to make sure that this black line is still on that diagonal okay so I've got this is what I'm scoring up. I make sure I've got more than two inches of material under my ruler. I am got my one inch mark crossing through the middle here at this center point. Now I can go ahead and square off two sides. I'm going to rotate this. I could have rotated my board as well. I just rotated the piece. And now when I put this back, I want to make sure again that this diagonal is going through the block I want to make sure this one is intersecting in the middle and now my two inch lines are right along the edge of this ruler so two inch mark is on the right along the edge of the patch everything is lined up I know it's going to be nice and square when I'm done then I can go ahead and trim the two remaining sides and then that is how you would square up the actual hourglass block so that's it for this video I hope it was helpful if you have any additional questions please leave them in the comment section below and I will see you next time thank you for watching bye bye for now